Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take, okay, so this has been filled up, as we said before, we put the plunger in to the um, electro gel, which is right here, and lubricated the plunger, put it up and down in the chamber so it's nice and loose, and then we filled it up with uh, out the uh, needle on and put the needle back in once we filled it up. And now we're going to place this in a location. I usually start right at FC and I press down like this. I use my thumb and hold it like this. I don't know. For me that's easier uh, to do. Like I said, a lot of uh, the ladies will like a much smaller plunger that they can get control of. And my pattern is I do FC and CZ. You notice that I'm going back and forth a little bit like that. That's just to help to get the fluid in between the hair. Okay, now I'm going to start doing uh, the right side. All right. So you don't have to break the scalp at all? No. And I just move that around a little, get in between the hair, and push again until the fluid comes out. And over here, the fluid comes out. Now, Tom, are we doing a 19 channel? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to need to do all the locations. Can I see how the fluid comes out, Steve? Yep. Let's do it right here. We press on that. And we got that. Mm -hmm. And then we can see it coming out right there. See that? Can we see that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. That's more than enough and then we wipe it off just to keep the area clean. You want to get that stuff all over the place. It gets all over your clothes. It can be really messy. So we get that nice and clean like that. And then we're going to do over here. Be a little more gentler at F8. Okay. And F7. And you notice I'm holding down I'm holding down the sensor and I push on it when I'm done. That helps seat it. Helps seat it in place and you get a better connection. And of course, like I said, I didn't really discover that until I started using um, brain mapping equipment that allowed me to see when I was getting a really good connection as I did it. And that's the value of having built-in impedance. All right, I ran out of that. I usually use tissue. I have a big box of tissue that I keep nearby. Question from the audience. Sure. Uh, given the uh, sensitivity of uh, uh, Atlantis, couldn't you um, put the needle in the hookup? You could have it connected to the Atlantis while you do a hookup. One of the things I do is I just run through filling this up, and I let it sink in kind of saturate getting in the scalp and that helps make a connection. Um, give it time. You know, don't rush this process because you want this fluid to get into the hairs and into the scalp as much as possible so that you don't have to start drilling down to try to get a good connection. You want to get, um, you just give it time will do it. Just let it. Another reason for pushing down is that it in the sensors, it, it helps you from putting too much fluid in and it draining all around the sites. So I'm just moving it around like that. Now, once you get really good at this, you can do this pretty quick. And, but you may do it quickly and not have a great connection. Giving this stuff time to kind of seep in and make a good connection to the hair. is good. And you know, we want to keep a sense of calm deliberation, no urgency. Your client's already worried enough that you've got a big needle on their head, especially the kids. And they're saying, I know that guy's going to plunge at any time now. <laughs> so they're not saying anything, but that's what they're thinking. This guy's getting ready to really do it, just like the other doctors. They're all not trustworthy. Yeah, and I can smell the alcohol, and they smell the alcohol, and they're like, oh, boy, I'm in trouble. That alcohol smell means needle. 
<laughs> and do you keep a running dialogue with the clients? All the time. I'm like your barbershop guy. I'm just, you know, how's the weather today? How's it going? You know, you have a nice trip down, you know? How's the wife? All that stuff. And, you know, just keep them happy. Because you want good data. Good data is a comfortable place. You're doing, you know, just doing a little map in here like we always do, you know? It's down home. Okay. So we've got everything hooked up, right? Now we're going to take our standard issue Atlantis mini cue box and and our plug. This is our LexCorp plug. Down by the box, please. Okay. Thank you. And then we can see right here that uh, that's where it goes in there. And I'm going to plug it right in, and we've got it in. We're good to go. Can you remove that big thing? And now well, the one thing we want to make sure also is that there's a little Right back here is a little button that says two channel, four channel. And since we're going to do four channel, I have to push that button in. So I push that button in, and we're ready to go. All right. Now, we won't know just how good the connections are until we look at the little lights in the front. And I can't see the front. You guys can see the front. Yep. Hey, they're green. Whoa. We're good to go. See, now some people, easy as pie. Other people, you'll be going like this and poking and looking at that light and it's still not green. And, you, you know, and it's like, did you use conditioner? <laughs> did you use hairspray? <laughs> you did something. That's just some of the people, their skin is, um, seems to be more resistant uh, to this process than other people's skin. And we noticed that even with paste in the old days. So uh, sometimes it takes a little more patience, but you get lucky, you get a good day, and it just all goes smooth. Got those green lights. All right, so now uh, we're going to let Tom take over from here, right? 